Okay guys, welcome back. So, let's go through the transfers and stuff. So, Rafael Cousin we sold to Real Oviedo. We made a loss, unfortunately. Um, <coughs> um, we sold Christian Wilson. He wouldn't sign a contract, so we kind of had to sell him. Unfortunately, we made a loss again. I know we're flopping a bit at the moment. And then we sold Pedro Arapides to Zurich on 21s for a profit. 45k, which is hilarious. We sold the guy that we signed as a free agent called Usama Hajib. We sold him for 1.9k. And we sold Ibsen. We brought him for 98k and we sold him for 175k. Yeah, we sold some players. Uh, we signed free agents and stuff. I uh, saw his pa uh, pa Palestinian, so since he was he had caps so thought why not same with Mile Potofsky and um, as you can see we already sold Osama Hajib so we signed Claude Otara and sent him out on loan 300k he's gone back to Ivory Coast he's a keeper so hopefully we can sell him on We've already can make a profit if it because of the price tag. <coughs> we signed Charles Marcelo. He's an absolute god already. I'm trying to lend him out to get him game time. Ten mil though from Juvent uh, from Atletico Mineiro. They played him and then loaned him out, which is weird his attributes um Karel Bukta signed signed him for 4.8 mil from Sigma Olomouc he's had quite a lot of game time already for a 19 year old which is good for us Um, we signed Roberto Calego for 3.5 mil from Atletico. It's loaned out to Elche. Uh, Timo Reisinger, we've signed. He's not got a work permit. Trying to loan him out for 1 mil from Red Bull Salzburg slash their B team. Had a loan in a second division Austrian club. We signed Oscar Parker from Mamelody Sundowns for 95k. He's on loan at the Magic, which is probably the best South African team name I've seen. Signed Dirk Layson. He's out on loan. Signed him from Real Antwerp. He's out on loan at Shanghai Port. Signed Alejandro Mateo for three mil from Real Sociedad. And a Fotis Chats Tzinnike Kalau, who signed from Aris Veseliniki, that team who seem to have loads of money. Um, 850k loaned out to Rosenborg.
Michael Cremona we've signed from um, Genoa. Played one game for them. He's in our under-23s at the moment. So... Hopefully he can progress. We signed Matt Phillips, not that one. Um, he's signed in from Royal Antwerp for 1.3 mil. Played a couple of games there, signed about Luton Town. He's English, but he regen there, and he's born in Montenegro. Roman. Adaramenko, who signed from Dinink Pro for 4 mil, He's had a loan at another club. Hopefully, we can make a profit, but yeah, hopefully, he can play a lot of games for us as well. We signed Augustin Casanova for 4.2 mil, loaned him straight out to Penarol. Club Nacional, we had him at. Um, Patrick Bissek, we've signed, he needs a new work permit. Signed him for 4.5 mil from Nantes. Came in from Cotton Sport, he went to Nantes, and now we've got him. Signed Allen, simply known as Allen, to Shanghai Port. We burned him out too. Sign him for 250k. There's his real name. I send that back. We've signed Mohamed Scarly. He's got one cap from Morocco. He's on international duty at the moment. Probably Africa Cup of Nations, I don't know. Signed in for 300k. Played a lot of Schalke. Two games. So. We signed Christopher Ramirez. For 750k from Santos Laguna. Played qu quite a few games for them to be fair. Midfielder. Hopefully we can loan him out and then bring him back as a better player so that we can fry him straight into the first team. And next player is Vicento Castillo. He's from Liechtenstein. Signed in from Team Ford or Lausanne Sport for 500k. Hoping he can get a um, loan move. I wonder if he's got a second nationality. Yeah, just Italian. Liechtenstein and Italian. Mohamed Shalala He's out on loan at Beijing Goan. Signed in from Falkenbergs for. 250k um, even played 7 games for him to be fair he's Swedish but I think he's got a second nationality he's Palestinian too and the last player we've got is Scalva Karasivili I think we took him, yeah we took him in the number 3 um, he was released by Dynamo Tbilisi Hopefully we can loan him out and sell him on. He's already got quite a big quite a big price tag on him. He's got 22 caps for Georgia. Um, so anyway. Here is everything that went down. So we won the Super Cup. Oh, you already saw that. Idiot. So we won the Pepe Reyes Cup 2 0. We had 18 shots, 10 on target with a 2.58.
Gogan and Ashton. They had seven shots free on target with a 0 0.59. Robinson got a red card. Then played Man City in the Champions League. Um, we had 12 shots free on target with a 1.15. Persape, Gogan. They had 22 shots, 7 on target with a 2.04. Menenti We then played Gibraltar Lions in a league um, We had 35 shots 20 on target with 4.56 Willard, Rawson and Willard They had 4 shots 1 on target with 0 0.22 Kenny with a red card We then played Porto. Um, there we beat two one. We had eleven shots swimming on target with a one point five zero. Rawson and Taylor. They had seven shots for on target with a zero point six nine. And Simic scored for them. Then played Magpies, who we beat four nil. We had twenty one shots nine on target with a two point three seven. Robot. Rawson, Voss and Willard They had 5 shots, 1 on target With a 0 0.28 I've lost where I am Jesus Christ Anyway, let's go from here we had 29 shots. We beat St. Joseph's 5 0. We had 29 shots, 12 on target with a 3.90. Vaughan with 2. Rawson, Robo with 2. Dead 4 shots, 2 on target with 0 0.41. Westlake and Rose with a red. Beat Lynx 8 1. We had 26 shots, 14 on target with 4.48. Vaughan uh, with 2. Willard with a hat trick. Rawson, Vaughan, and Gogan. Did seven shots, one on target with a 0 0.43, and Wilson for them. We beat College Sony 5. 6 1, we had 36 shots, 21 on target with 4.86. Um, Vaughan with a hat trick. Roper. Well, Vaughan with four goals, Robert and Rawson. They had eight shots two on target of 0 0.45. Ido Wu. Um, then beat Porto 2 0. We had nine shots six on target with a 1.30. Voss and Gogan. They had eight shots two on target with a 0 0.45. Beat Magpies 4 0. We had 21 shots, 9 on target with 2.37. Rupert, Rawson, Voss, and Willard. They had 5 shots, 1 on target with 0 0.28. We did beat College Roper 2 0. We had 23 shots, 13 on target with 2.63. Roper and Voss, they had 1 shot, 1 on target with 0 0.07. Collins. We had. Um, We beat Copenhagen 3 0. We had 17 shots, 9 on target with 1.88. Pasapi, Gogan, and Taylor. They had 5 shots, 2 on target with 0 0.20. We beat Mons Calpe 7 0. We had 29 shots, 16 on target with a 3.87. Um, Willard with 2. Robo with 2. Sun Oss with 2. And Gogan. They had three shots, one on target with 0 0.27. We then beat Man City 4 0. We had 19 shots, 10 on target with a 2.22. Gogan, Voss, Santos with 2. They had 11 shots, 6 on target with a 1.15. We beat Glasses United 2 1. 
we had 23 shots 13 on target with a 2.11 Santos with 2 they had 4 shots 2 on target with a 0 0.26 Robinson we then beat Manchester 62 uh, we had 27 shots 17 on target with a 4.15 um, Willard scored a goal a Voss with a hat trick, Sun Ox with two, um, Stevenson with two, and Samir Keitano. Nesso got red carded. They had three shots one on target with 0 0.68. Kingdon. We beat Lincoln Redemps 3 0. We had 20 shots nine on target with a 3.03. .03. Roba and Santos with two. They had four shots one on target with 0 0.28. Pacheco. This is how the league stands at the moment when we go on to it. Here we go. Um, Lincoln Redemps a second. The problem is, is we don't have an out and out second place. It usually switches between someone different every single time. Which is kind of annoying. Um, here's the finances. We've got 75 mil in the bank. At the moment. Um, here's the projection. And um, who's a dev center? Christopher Ramirez is here. Definitely should pop him up. He's really good already. Let's hope I, ha I haven't broken. I was going to say, let's hope I haven't broken the game. Here's the club vision. Games like having a heart attack at the moment. Which is fair enough, I guess. Here we go. Oh yeah, I had to ask for funds to sign a new player. I forgot about that. That's it. We improved the youth facility because um it went it downgraded and whatever. We've got 10 mil in the bank. Spending way too much on wages. Let's see. Be fair, that net spend though. Salary per annum is ridiculous. <laughs> that is insane. Let's see. Let's look at our profile. Here we go. So here's my contract. It runs out in a year's time. Um, let's go to the Gibraltar national team. It's like the 24th of the night, Venet or something. So we played Sweden in the Nations League. We drew nil nil. We had four shots for on target with zero point two eight. They had twenty shots waiting on target with one point two nine. We then played Czech Republic, who beat two one. We had five shots for on target with zero point five seven. Gordon with two. They had twenty seven shots twelve on target with a two point zero one. Misinski for them. Then beat Poland away 2 1. We had three shots for on target with a 0 0.96. Langton and Gordon did 18 shots, 7 on target with a 2.40. Golinski. Then we beat Sweden 1 0. At home, we had 8 shots for on target with a 0 0.91. Langton did 11 shots for on target with a 1.70. Um, 
and we're 56th in the world at the moment, which is really good. We're just better than Syria. <laughs> um, I'll show you our group as well. Here it was. We actually got out, which is insane. Def 100% getting relegated. Next group. Here's us as a nation. This guy's come out of nowhere. Maybe not, I don't know. That'll be why. What a waste of money. Lincoln Reddins have spent. Here's the squad. No, oh, there we go. James Johnson is out for a bit, which is annoying. He's been out for a while, but his stats have gone down a tiny bit, which is annoying, but oh well. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for the next video.